Grassroots organizations are an absolute partner with local government. We are the boots on the ground. We are walking the streets on a daily basis, on the phone, on emails every day, listening to the needs of our community, and then working with our lo local government to provide those needs and to get what resources we need right into the hands of our community members. When there's a natural disaster, people do in fact have tremendous needs. They actually wind up getting cut off from the world. And what we did see with Super Storm Sandy was exactly that. It was almost impossible for them to get any form of communication or information. We at Adopt a House in Sandy Support Master Pequa style, we were able to bring Nassau and Suffolk County together. We were able to help people with their insurance claims and to work with the Department of Financial Services to help people get the money that the banks were keeping in escrow. There were problems with the Bigot Waters Act and these people that were desperately trying to recover were now gonna get hit with incredibly large increases. We were able to get that to Senator Schumer and that actually helped propel us to getting the law to the president's desk. I hail from East Rockaway, New York. Approximately 50% of our town was submerged with seven feet of water from Hurricane Sandy. There was nine feet of water that came into the sewage treatment plant. There was sewage in our homes. Initially, the 11518 started with a couple of people and it morphed into a disaster response. We really just wanted to get people to locations for information or voting to make sure that you know we have a voice in terms of getting something rectified. It seems like this is moving forward. Superstorm Sandy, Long Island, it actually was a disaster that brought about inspiration. It was about looking at our community and seeing it absolutely devastated. And then it was inspiring because we saw our community come together in a way we've never seen before. Our organization started with neighbors who came together and then evolved to how do I contact a FEMA rep? How do I get information on the United Way, Salvation Army, my insurance company? What legal information do I need? We've been able to work with a lot of national and local organizations to bring that information right to the town of Babylon. Neighbor Supporting Neighbors works with the New York Rising Community Reconstruction Program, which works with the state funds to rebuild our community. We have uh, moved into the phase where people are trying to rebuild their homes. I've also seen people still sitting in houses filled with mold, not sure where to begin. We need to let people know that Superstorm Sandy isn't over. It really hasn't ended for a lot of residents. There's work that still needs to be done and we just need to lift up our neighbors. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to finish strong. We're going to be here until everyone's home.